Here is Blackburn Legacy. This is after his first trimming and he got his ears done and his bridal path and he's really tired. <laughs> he's just barely over three months. He was born June 6, so he's a little more furrier than hairier than and his mom was 22. Then the other colts, they're a little more slicked off than he is, but they're two months older. Um, he's as big as they are, you know, frame-wise, got lots of nice muscle. Um, he does have that little white foot in the back. He's got that star blaze. He's a cinnamon dun. Uh, he'll produce nothing but dun. Or possibly gruel it as well. It's all that's all he can sire is that. And he is on good hay, alfalfa, and oats right now. Actually, a, a sweet feed mix that I just got from my creep feeder. And then, uh, so he will be fed pretty nice. He needs a little extra. His mom did a good job, but that's all she could do at her age. Probably the baby that's in here will be her last one. I'm I'm pretty sure of that. He's 100% sound. He didn't even get a mark on him during this halter breaking and all that. He he's kind of average as far as fighting it goes. I've had better ones, but he wasn't bad. I'd really, really like to get him with the water hose, like I always do. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow. It will really help him. But he, he's, you know, he's, that colt next to him there is a whole month older than he is. And he's bigger than him. And he's getting fed some good stuff right now, so I'm I'm hoping he's going to look pretty good. It's only been a week now, since week and a half since he's been weaned, and this is probably the toughest period is right about now. And I think he'll look better here. I'm happy with him. I mean, he's... I've seen it what she's produced, and I know what the old boy produces, and I think this colt will be all that. And, um... His brother last year was just gorgeous. There you go, pretty boy. Hello. You got that big ice cream cone on your forehead. But Ted, this is this is for you. If you decide after seeing this that you don't want him, that's perfectly fine. I understand. Uh my other colt is still available. His name is Blackburn's Champion. He's more of a doe skin, deer skin color. Tiger stripe legs. 100% foundation. And less white on his face. But that's my daughter's horse. I can't negotiate the price. And uh, so it's your choice between the two. That's all I've got left. And I wouldn't say it's because they're the last ones. It's just people have... Most of them wanted uh, the other colt out of the beauty horse. Or like the other one that's sold there. Or they wanted Grula. And I just didn't get no Grulas. Well, I did, but it was fillies. So that's good for me because that's what I'm keeping. But he's he's gonna be something someday. He just needs a little extra right now. If he was slicked off like the other colt, we wouldn't be having this conversation. It's just that his mommy just didn't have it. But he's definitely built. He's gonna have a really nice hip on him. That's how he wants to carry himself, nice and level-headed.
If I was going to use him in a breeding program, I would cross him on black mares. That's black mares or buckskins, but you can get them black mares way cheaper than a buckskin, but blacks is how you're going to get the duns like his dad is color or gruelas. And uh, true black mares, not brown mares, but black mares. And, uh, even if you had bays, you're going to get duns. But they'll be like more of a cinnamony dun like he is probably. Even sorrels will give you duns. They could be like him, or dark duns, or any color dun, red dun, but they'll always be a dun. And so with a stallion, with the homozygous dun factor, all you're going to get is duns. But if you want to produce babies that are homozygous dun as well, then you would have to breed them to dun mares to get homozygous offspring. So, but, you know, if you're, if you're wanting to produce some grulas, all you got to do is cross them on black mares. Because grulas are diluted black. Bays carry that gene as well, and so do duns, but you're more sh likely to get it with black mares. And you know they're going to be a dun or a grula with him anyway, so... I would... I would... You know, you can have any color mare, you're going to get a dun. But if you're looking for grulas, you're going to, you're going to want to stick with the blacks, I think. Or dark dun mares themselves. Those will all cost a little more money. If you're wanting to get started and you want to try them out on a mare, I would start him out with a black mare just to see what you get. And if you have her color tested and she's homozygous black, double E, then you'll get a grula, no matter what. And that colt there next to him is the old stud's color. And I think that's the color of babies you would get out of this colt crossed on black mares as well. They would give you that dilute. I don't know what that dun's called, but that's... I call them chocolate duns. That's what Blackburn was. But... I started to call them Ace. For legacy, I guess Ace is just what I call them. He's hungry. He's been tied up for a while, so I should probably let him in with his brothers and give him their odies and some good alfalfa. Yeah. I suppose if they had to have white, at least it's nice and symmetrical like his is. And you know, if you cross him on Palominos, you'd get that cream gene thrown in there. Not that you might, not that you would get, well, you could get a buckskin out of a, well, no, not with him, actually, I'm sorry. With him, it's going to be a dun. So you would get dunalinos, because uh, he will allow the cream gene in the white, uh, white man and tail, because he's not homozygous black, but he is homozygous dun. So if you bred him to a palomino, you'd get dunalinos, which is a really cool thing. Those are some of the hottest things going right now, is the Dunalinos. Um, they're very rare as well. So, you could get black mares and palomino mares and have some really cool looking mare babies out there. Blackburn mares in a palomino color are hard to come by. There's not very many. So, you know, if you were going to go with a Blackburn breeding program, those are hard to find. Finding black ones, not so hard to find. But I don't know what kind of... If you stuck with just a foundation program, there's, there's, there's a lot of Palominos out there.